Did scientists open a portal, as Doctor Strange does? Maybe not, but this is an unbelievable moment in the world of physics. After years of research and experimentation, Kern has successfully opened portals to a whole new realm of physics, uncovering incredible discoveries that challenge everything we thought we knew about the fundamental nature of reality. In this video, we'll take you through the incredible journey of Kern's discovery and explore the implications of this groundbreaking achievement. So fasten your seatbelts and get ready to witness the impossible become possible. But before that, let's remind you to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell to get more stunning updates from us. Kern, the world's largest particle physics laboratory, is at the forefront of pushing the boundaries of our understanding of the universe. The latest developments from CERN have created quite a stir within the scientific community, potentially rewriting the laws of modern physics. Reports suggest that subatomic neutrino particles may have traveled faster than the speed of light through the 17-mile-long particle collider, a feat previously deemed impossible. Einstein's theory of relativity stipulates that nothing can surpass the speed of light, which is an astonishing 299,792,458 meters per second. However, recent experiments at CERN may hold the key to unlocking a more complex reality beyond Einstein's imagination. While Einstein's theories have been the cornerstone of technological advancements for over a century, the field of quantum physics, which deals with subatomic particles, has given rise to outlandish concepts such as wormholes, alternate dimensions, and even the possibility of time travel. CERN's ambitious research aims to prove the existence of this fascinating world, which lies beyond our wildest dreams. A decade ago, scientists at Kern were diligently colliding particles at astonishing velocities in search of the Higgs boson, also known as the God particle, which is believed to be the smallest particle in existence. The discovery of the Higgs boson was expected to unlock the secrets of the strong force, a dominant force that binds together particles of the same polarity, just like magnets that would otherwise repel each other. Nearly a few months ago, the astute scientists at Kern made headlines by isolating antimatter for an unprecedented 1,000 seconds. However, their most recent breakthrough has sent shockwaves throughout the scientific community, as it has the potential to redefine our understanding of technology and time itself. According to the theory of relativity, nothing can exceed the speed of light. But what if this is not entirely accurate? Kern researchers claim to have detected a neutrino beam traveling at a speed 60 nanoseconds faster than that of light, with a slim 10 nanosecond error margin. If the results are indeed accurate, this would represent an astounding breakthrough, effectively breaching the time barrier, which was once deemed unassailable. However, the findings remain subject to peer evaluation, and it's imperative to validate them before hailing them as the most remarkable scientific discovery of all time. Chen Ki Young, a specialist in neutrinos at Stony Brook University in New York, and the U.S. spokesperson for a similar experiment in Japan, is equally skeptical about the reported faster than light particles. According to Young, the neutrino's travel timing is critical, and the global positioning system used to measure it could have a potential error margin of up to tens of nanoseconds. As per James Gillies, a CERN spokesman, the feeling that most people have is, this can't be right, this can't be real. Young refrains from dismissing the researchers at CERN, although he hypothesizes that a systematic error may have gone unnoticed. Dr. Alan Kostelecki, an eminent theoretical physicist who has dedicated a quarter century to the standard model extension, which predicts potential breaches of special relativity in particle physics, also advocates for circumspection in impertiding the results. Kostelecki emphasizes that while previous measurements have imposed restrictions on the abilities of neutrinos, 
the possibility of faster than light travel has not been unequivocally ruled out in line with the time honored principle that extraordinary claims demand extraordinary evidence. Kostelecki remains cautiously optimistic until the results undergo independent confirmation. Let us explore yet another groundbreaking discovery that has transpired at the CERN facility, a hub of cutting-edge scientific research. The Large Hadron Collider, LECH, is the largest and most potent particle collider in the world, an engineering marvel that was the brainchild of over 10,000 scientists hailing from hundreds of institutes and 100 countries. Its design incorporates superconducting magnets, along with numerous accelerating structures that propel particles to greater energies. Two beams, primarily comprising protons, are fired in opposite directions and subsequently collided at near light speeds. The detectors inside the collider capture and transmit the ensuing data to a grid of computer systems where scientists can analyze it. The Large Hadron Collider, LATSI, produced its first collision in 2010 with a combined energy of 7 tera electron volts. After upgrades, the collider was restarted in 2020, one with a maximum beam energy of 6.8 tera electron volt per beam, with this round expected to continue until 2020. The main dipoles of the LACI are formidable electromagnets that generate a magnetic field exceeding 100,000 times the Earth's, weighing 35 tons and spanning 15 meters in length. Superconducting coils allow high currents to flow to sustain such a potent magnetic field, and the lattice magnets operate to maintain beam stability and precise alignment. Once these conditions are met, Dipole magnets take over to bend particle trajectories with the utmost accuracy, facilitating tighter turns. The scale of this feat is such that using conventional magnets instead of superconducting ones would necessitate a fourfold increase in the length of the accelerator to achieve comparable energy level. In a remarkable feat last July, scientists at the Large Hadron Collider sought out monopoles. Particles possessing a single magnetic pole induced through the hypothesized Schwinger effect. In pursuit of this elusive quarry, they created the most commanding magnetic field on a record, generated by colliding two beams of lead particles at mind, boggling velocities. This extraordinary magnetic field, measuring 1016 Tesla, surpassed the power of conventional fridge magnets by a factor of two billion and exceeded the magnetic field of a magnetar, a magnetized neutron star, by 100,000 times. In spite of representing the most refined exploration for magnetic monopoles in accelerator history, the outcome of the study failed to yield any monopoles. Although the scientists succeeded in establishing the first robust constraints on the mass of these particles, the monopoles must have a mass that exceeds 70 times that of a proton, according to these limits. Despite these intriguing findings, the organization later disclosed an unusual occurrence. A fissure appeared in the Earth's magnetic field and remained open for 14 hours. The announcement sparked rumors on social media platforms that Kern had uncovered a portal facilitating the transit of extraterrestrial entities. However, experts swiftly verified that a gap had, indeed, formed in the Earth's magnetic field, yet there was no cause for immediate alarm. Regrettably, the opening of the fissure allows intense solar winds to enter our planet, as the researchers have pointed out. Although the Earth's magnetic field is often overlooked, it represents an essential constituent of our planet. The magnetic field functions to orient our compasses and shields us from the deleterious impacts of solar winds, which could potentially inflict severe harm on our ozone layer. But what exactly caused this crack? Well, this crack or opening has been attributed to a rare event known as the co-rotating interaction region, sir, from the sun. Essentially, these immense plasma structures are formed when fast and slow streams of solar wind collide in the heliosphere's lower and intermediate latitudes, an area encompassing the solar magnetic field and solar magnetic field and solar winds surrounding the sun. These surs may comprise coronal mass ejections, chimes, 
Kamis, which emanate from the sun and can result in tumultuous space weather and captivating aurorae. On July 7th, a Kimi embedded in the solar wind preceding the seer collided with the Earth's magnetic field, precipitating a protracted gone geomagnetic storm. Although fissures in the Earth's magnetic field are frequent, experts reassure the public that this field acts as a bulwark safeguarding us against solar storms. NASA has recently been monitoring an enigmatic anomaly in the Earth's magnetic field that has caused a reduction in magnetic strength, particularly in an area stretching from South America to Southwest Africa. This may not have a significant impact on life on Earth, but it represents a significant risk to spacecraft in Earth's orbit, which is susceptible to high-energy particles from the Sun. Additionally, the Sun has been more active than ever, with 17 eruptions detected in a single region, two of which collided with the Earth at a staggering speed of nearly 2 million miles per hour. The recent loss of 40 satellites by SpaceX due to a geomagnetic storm highlights the threat that solar activity poses to our communication networks and power grids. Scientists continue to monitor solar phenomena such as chimes, and solar flares and sunspots are also a source of concern due to the radiation they emit in the form of solar flares. Recently, the active sunspot R2975 produced a powerful solar storm that resulted in the northern lights. But larger solar storms can have disastrous effects, including damage to radio and satellite navigation, and even the potential to knock out the global internet. The Carrington event in 1859 caused damage to telegraph systems around the world and created auroras brighter than the full moon. In light of these concerns, extra caution should be taken with future experiments at CERN to ensure the safety of our planet and its technological infrastructure. Considering the circumstances, would it be wise for CERN to exercise additional caution in their future experiments? CERN is undertaking an ambitious endeavor to enhance the performance of the Hadron Collider by augmenting the collision energy and luminosity alongside upgrading the detector. With the present run set to conclude in 2025, a prospective fourth run in 2029 would unleash a collision rate ten times higher than its predecessor, facilitating the collection of a prodigious data set ten times larger than that of the third run. What are your thoughts on the implications of this breakthrough? Do you have any questions or comments about the research or the Large Hadron Collider? Let us know in the comments section below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more science and technology videos.